Teaming up with Europe comes with different levels of commitment. With an association agreement, you can compete in the same stadium, but only accession means you'll be part of the squad. The EU has association agreements with dozens of countries and is negotiating many more. To get one of these coveted agreements, countries must agree to changes covering politics, economics, trade and human rights. If they sign a free trade agreement, they must adopt Ooh. hundreds of EU laws within 10 years. Sounds like a lot of hassle. Ooh. Well, there is a sweetener. Becoming an EU partner gives access to the EU's 500 million consumers and an economy of 12.9 trillion euros, as well as financial aid to get their public institutions up to speed. However, there are many more criteria that the country must satisfy before EU states agree to a new candidate. The EU might sign an association agreement first. But it doesn't mean that everyone can go the distance. Some partner countries stop here if they don't want to go further. To be in the running for accession to the EU, a country must apply as a candidate first. The treaties limit candidateship to European states. And running for full membership to the EU takes even more time 